Anyway, this eight bat used to be nice and fast, but not anymore. Bit of uh, Daddy Balkan. Stupid chilling tonight, I think. Just play a few games I like. Nothing too extravagant. We'll start it off with this. But I had no sound there. So when that's weird. Always feel sorry for the little fella. That's not a good start. Gonna kill me off, that is. Oh, then again, it won't. Full energy. Nice. I'm just lucky. Perfect timer for full energy, that was.
Benji. Oh, here, get the fire sword. Base, pretty fireball. When you jump in this, you literally are more powerful in the air. Take like double. You basically, I think you do like double damage. platform in there. Oh, that was a bad move. So again, hit. It was nice. That was a lucky, uh, lucky jump in. So wait. would have been nice for the excess guys a bit of a pain in the ass. found a perfect strategy for this guy. I know hitting them from, from underneath here is quite good, but... It's 
still not the perfect strategy. It's the one boss I have problems with. Get in the lava, that's good. Boys. Boulder is very hard to dodge. Oh, nearly. Run out of uh, packs. It's like the quick kill technique. <laughs> One more hit for the axe, I would have killed him. Near then. Off. Okay. for the sword. We jump into rubbish tonight. go for that sword and kill that dragon really quick. Get that jump. Oh, got on the platform, nice. 
Didn't grab on either. Ooh. Got me turns around. How many Japanese people can actually read the English? <laughs> I know why they did English in their games, because of the character set. Apparently kanji takes up a lot more memory. You only sound well. There's two soundtracks in this game, I suppose the ending on this one. I do like the my system version. It's really good. Right, okay, so Actually, let's go with that. I'll go to Europe. Go to go to Sagaya. Which is a fantastic version of the arcade game. For a mass system. Very impressive. It's also an automatic. It's weird why this got such a bad review when it first came out. Really terrible reviews when it's it is a pretty amazing conversion considering I reckon I reckon they were no good at it and didn't get very far on it so they give it a bad review. Maybe seeing the slightly janky scrolling on this first level, and I thought, ah, this is rubbish. Even the music's good.
Do job. Should get a power up soon, I think. A shield for now teach me to go down. There's another shield coming up. Oh, and he got trapped in. Okay, cool, we made it. the double bosses. Right, hopefully that bomb will come back on. I mistimed it. Oh no, I didn't. Them things. They could be a right pain in the ass, them things can. Nice conversion, the arcade. Consider it's on a literally 60, you know, an 8 bit console. That was probably a really stupid way to try and kill that then, but it worked. Your missiles are more powerful than your front fire, by the way, on this game. That one. Always pass against me, that does. Now I got no power up, screwed. And I ran the wall. Fantastic. Okay. In recovery. No lives. Darius games are cruel mistresses. On. Oh, I missed him. It would have been quite nice to get that power up. Okay. I'm going to 
get that. I thought that was near the end then. Huge bomb ship on Lee London. This boss makes the uh, my system chug. Did I get him? I don't think I did. Can get in close and kill him faster. Probably uh, first fire. Way, this game only came out in Europe as well. Which is a bit bizarre, but let's give up in the US. I don't, th don't think so though. This, this level's a bit awkward when you ain't got good firing. Do, do, 
Alright, I quit, let's go in. This is the Master System version. It's a Gaia. Yeah, I'm doing right, buddy. Not too bad. Red X, right? But I am just chilling out, basically, just playing some stuff I like. Yeah, apart from that, I'm doing fine. Yeah, it's the Master System one. It's, uh, considering the machine it's on, it's a really nice conversion. Notice you joined. Um, let's go to the moon. Right, so that's a better, some better front firing. Shield upgrade would be nice now. I hate them things on the floor. Fire the missiles. Nice. I think I'll pick up one more front power up and I'll leave it at leave it as that. Hate them things. Andy? Oh, I missed it. <laughs> I was hoping it blow up then. Right, so I'm not going to get any more red power ups now, I think. shield. It does have some flicker, but um, it's pretty good. Yeah, the Master System version is really good. Crab time, is it?
It does make it a lot harder, but it, it's, it's an impressive version. Pity the Darius collection didn't have the um, Game Boy version, which is also pretty good. Go on, that. I like the music on you as well. You, it is instantly recognisable as Darius music as well. Do, do, do. We should be on a shield power up soon, I think. Can't be far off one. Alright, that is the shield power up. I like the um, PC Engine Davios 2 as well, even though that it does feel super cramped, but it, it's quite a different version to the other Davios games. Oh yeah. Egg dry parts quite handy on the mass system in there, it'll work. Doesn't work with every game though, but in other few games it just won't have none of it, but the mass system pad it's okay in it, but it's a bit spongy. Plus they get they're quite tricky to get older these days. I think I got three of them somewhere. I've never, I don't think I've ever had a power convert, base convert. I mean, then again, no, I think I may have had it once, but it was years after it was a thing. It wasn't at the time. I don't see them very often these days either, do you? Yeah, I think I may have had one once. Some of that power up would have been quite nice. I forgot they float off on this level. I hate them things. Any of the ones that fire that missile up, they sort of aim to the level of your ship. It's a pain in the ass. Gained a hell of a lot of lives.
he actually gone or yeah, he's our door. I hit that as well. Took a few hits. Like the Master System pad was the first joy pad I sort of learned to use. But yeah, when you go back to them, they are, they are a little bit spongy. They work like. Yeah, they, they're quite weird, and the mass system pads again, quite pricey. Yeah, they were either for platform games and things like that, weren't they? I I used my pads for years, but. The only joystick you get for the mass system was that weird buddy left-handed joystick. So it's, I don't know why they released that. And then, like a buddy gear stick handle on the top, didn't it? It wasn't a very good joystick. I wonder why the hell they released the left-handed joystick. Very odd. in the frame rate. A little bit too close there, wasn't I? Forgot about his octopus arms. Good, 18 quid. I am seen one for sale for quite a while. Where do I go? That's the question. Let's go key. Oh, the dust flap is missing. That's not too bad, I suppose. Some impressive parallax scrolling on this level. It's weird that Sagaya is like a little bit of an offshoot of, um, it's an update basically, isn't it, to the Darius cab, Darius 2 cab. Damn, they firing at me now, i got to be careful of them. Um, that background is like tanking the, uh, the CPU. <laughs> Looks good, huh? 
Could do with a shield, I think. I hate that one. Oh, I don't want to get that. Ooh, that was like, yeah, I didn't pick it up. Shield for a while. Getting quite tooled with the weapons. <clears throat> Is on this level. Missiles kick ass, basically. Oh great, I've got a shield. Oh, that's that was bad. That is really bad. Well, Sakai, it is actually a different game, isn't it? It, it, it is an upgrade on um, Darius 2 Arcade. It is actually a slightly different game. Okay, the hitbox on them things is massive. I think that's it. Yeah, see. Remember, they released Davius 2, and then they, they released an, the extra version, didn't they? And then uh, they released a different version called Sagaya in the arcades, but it was one many places. I don't think they did many of them. Excuse me. All right, Daz, how's it going? I don't think they released many of them, and they had slightly different bosses and slightly different level layouts. And um, I think I think the I think the levels were easier, but the bosses were harder, all the other way around, something like that. Yeah. I 
the guy who was mainly like I think it was mainly a European thing. Just dropping in you, buddy. I always thought they just rebranded it, but it, it is it is slightly different. How's it going, buddy? You alright? Murayuki. Yeah, pretty lucky I think I had quite a few lives. I suppose I could get reasonably close to it and it'd fire fast. <clears throat> I think the trick is with uh, the old Davius games is not to go past the first set of power-ups, don't go to the lasers. Keep one down from actually going up to the lasers and just keep out all the way for the game. Because it's got a good spread shot and it fires fast. Ah, not a bad bit of Reddick tonight, so I'm just, uh, I'm just chilling out. Just playing some stuff, uh, stuff I like. <clears throat> cool. Okay, so, let's go to... MVS. Stupid King of Fighters. Well, not King of Fighters. Um, Fatal Fury. Fatal Fury, the King of Fighters. Ah, oh, I haven't got for the, uh... Right, left, down, up, A, B, C, D, start, select, coin. Hang on, why are we, um, video modes? Back to normal, as we want. I don't know why I was in integer scaling for some reason. Have I actually, yeah, I've just killed. Oh no, I come back. Why is that not working? Weird. I've seen the first three Andors. It's, it's a bit different to the other ones, isn't it? It's a little bit more adult, if you know what I mean. Oh, did he? I got a Russian steam bot. Nice. I got loads of them steam bots in mine. It's all about those uh, teen cams, basically. Pain in the ass. Did anyone actually fall for that crap? It's amazing, then you, you go on the net for a couple of years and you just get totally blasé to all that crap. You just see it all the time, it just means nothing. Oh, he's, he's okay.
he was, uh, he was going through then. <laughs> these, these days with browsers, you can strip all that crap out of them. I haven't seen any adverts like that for a long, long, long time. Street Smart's on the uh, Mister now. I can't get it working though. Maybe a RAM issue with my, the RAM type I've got. But um, this music's from uh, Street Smart. Ah, oh, there you go. That's the one. I don't know if I want to do Granddad dancing hot wife fronts. <laughs> I don't know if I want to see that. There's probably someone out there who does. Here's the monkey fighter. I, don't know, I just always find this game fun. <laughs> uh, they're not going to get many hits on that, are they? Got to be a definitely a Pacific sort of crowd for that. Ready, go. And again, it's a job for somebody. You can make some extra money on his pension. <laughs> Bit of money on the side. Wonder if that'd be allowed or I bet you Twitch would take that off. They leave the, the pool the pool babes. That's totally fine, but I bet you if you put that on it, they would take it off. Twitch is crazy, isn't it? It's basically some guy was streaming and he was sat there in his pants and a t shirt and you couldn't see anything. And then the doorbell went and he got up and answered the door and he got banned off Twitch for doing that. But then it's perfectly fine to see women scantily clad in buddy's um, pools in the house. What's all that about? It's all what it makes some money in it basically. Yep. It is. This guy as well. He, he, he just would do, he didn't do anything wrong. He got banned. For getting up, just showing his boxer shorts as he was going for the um, answering the door. Oh, really? Exactly. But then pool girls allowed to buddy, uh, you know, almost almost in a buddy swimming pool in the middle of the house with their tits out. That's perfectly fine. Bonus area. Ready? Go! I, uh, I'm slightly detecting double standards here. Those women are allowed to buddy do things in a buddy pool for, for basically tips. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, I remember those cool cards. Oh God, that was a long time ago. That was as well. I wasn't upset by them, uh, them adverts. What I've noticed as well, this is this is a classic. Uh, basically, offices years like when I started eighteen, nineteen years ago, you used to go to various offices and you, you'd have like uh, pictures of women up on the wall, especially like um, you know depots and stuff for like doing road cleaning and things like that. And all that's gone now, right? It all got taken out, it's not allowed anymore. It's all gone. But what's been put up in replacement? In offices now, there's loads of pictures of men on the wall. And that's allowed. Not if I care, but it's like gone the other way round and it's perfectly fine. But it wasn't fine the other way round. Right. <laughs> That's literally got banned for a week for having sex on stream with a boyfriend. What the hell? That that should literally be an instant ban, shouldn't it? For that. That, that's a fair ban, I would be, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah, it's mad that with offices. Like, I, I, I always, uh, I always mention as well when they there are a bunch of women on the wall. I always like take a piss out the picture. But it's like, it's funny how it's like sort of moved the other way round, but it's perfectly fine. I think it does, to be honest. Ready? Go. YouTube's the same. It's it's basically what makes them money. This is why the YouTube um, algorithm now is basically it just checks everything in front of you that makes them money. That's why a lot of the small channels like mine and that don't get that many views anymore because you literally don't come up in the list unless it's something really specific. You don't pop up in the list. The algorithm is all sort of what makes them cash. But you can kill me. Huh? Yeah. Do now, he's probably gonna hit me. Yeah, it's a shame it's like that. I, I, I understand why they do it, I suppose it makes some money in their business at the end of the day, isn't it? but uh, it does like the small channels, and I definitely don't get nowhere near as many views anymore. You don't pop up in lists anymore. Like I said, unless he's doing something really specific. That's mad that we're doing that on Twitch and you only got a week span. No, other than the uh, Nintendo chip. Yeah, 
good. Yeah. Same right work. They, they basically got banned probably years and years ago, actually. It was only like the occasional like uh, depot or something I would go to where it was just basically full of men and they, you would see something. I did catch them all once watching buddy porn. I was just like, I walked in and they had a porn film on and I was just like, they're all there gathered around and I was just like, what are you doing boys? And they were like, oh, give, give me crap. And I was just like, I work in IT and they know exactly what's in that PC. You, you're using it off a disc and they, they'll know exactly what that is and you sat there watching porn. I was just like, you, you, you really want to turn that off. Shitting themselves in, chucking the disc away. And it's just like, yeah, they know exactly what you're playing. <laughs> uh, that's that's unfortunate. Did you get a ban for a week? This is um, the original Fatal Fury on the Neo Geo. Alright mate, how's it going? Bam, bam, bam. It's a good game, I like it. It's not, you know, it's not a great fighting game considering what's out now, but uh, I don't know, I've always found it quite fun to play. That's really unfortunate, isn't it? Yeah. I don't know where I work, it's probably like the, the offices, I would say it's mainly women, to be honest. Council depots and that, yeah, it's, it's probably about, um, about 30% women, maybe. But yeah, the same year, like it's a lot of the workforce, but I am a woman as well, I would say. Oh no, they're allowed to put them up in my place, no one says a thing about it. Right, let's have a play for this. See how fast we can do it. Go the guy. Oh, he's quite a popular, is he? Bum, bum, bum. Dee, 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 dee. I didn't chuck many uh, enemies on the floor on me then. Never get those power ups. Really, you get no sound effects in this bit. Oh, 
I loot. Oh well. Tried to back off then, but I was going too fast. That was silly. same. Yeah, that's, that's happening quite a bit on uh, Twitch now. Especially like you'll watch a channel for a little while and if you swap to another one, you get the adverts coming in quite often. And uh, you do get adverts in between things. Like first they started off and they were cutting the stream off completely. Like say you were watching like a Street Fighter match, you were cut off, you get a massive advert. But now you get like a little window at the top. But yeah, if you go swapping around streams, you'll get loads of adverts on Twitch now. I watch Twitch quite often, like, and uh, yeah, there's a, there's a lot of. It's almost the same advert as well. It's usually Amazon. Oh, I won't be on uh, next week either. Um, I'm going to um, Blackpool and play Expo, and then Arcade Club. So, just letting you know in advance. Yeah, I'll be gone all weekend, basically. I'm gonna go play actual Blackpool as well. 
Not been to that one yet. I haven't been open that long either. I have thought about it. And... Like, I'd probably get more views if I put it on Twitch, to be honest. But... I don't know, I suppose it, there's loads of people jumping the uh, YouTube one, so I've sort of stuck with YouTube. But essentially, I, I think I would get a lot more views if I, if I put it on Twitch. I did stream in there once or twice. You know, if I did both platforms, that, that could be... Yeah, sh shame you can't uh, sort of stream the ball from at the same time. <laughs> That'd be quite useful. You know, the only way to do it, I suppose, would be to stream on Twitch. And then um, upload the videos to YouTube. And the only problem now is because everyone looks on YouTube, I don't want to like cut anyone off by moving to Twitch, if you know what I mean. I suppose I picked my bed, so I'll have to lay with it. It is going to be busy. It's a bit risky, I suppose, but I'm not going to randomly wander around Blackpool like we normally do. We've got it planned this time. Basically, play Expo, and then straight for food, and then from here straight to the um, arcade club, and then back to the hotel. Normally we end up wandering aimlessly around Blackpool for a while. Oh, they're changing their rate today. Yeah, that, that's the only problem with doing it through Twitch and then uploading them. You're literally getting like a second-hand stream there, no, unless, you, unless you're on Twitch. I say Twitch, for you know, obviously for streaming, Twitch is definitely more popular. Coral Beach is still there, but that's the most craziest and the craziest arcades I've seen in the country. It's super busy in here, it's insane. It's crazy busy in that place. The Pier Arcade is uh, still there, but it's not very good. But the Coral Beach one is definitely the, it's, it's the best arcade in um, in Blackpool, but that, that's not saying much. It's mainly redemption machines, but it's got some nice older, uh, you know, full size cabs and stuff in it, like the full size Outrun and stuff like that. And it's probably one of the most busiest arcades I've ever seen. It's crazy how busy it is. Every time I've ever gone in there, it's absolutely rammed.
ghosts are a pain in the ass. It's crazy how rammed it is in there, like. Yeah, it's got that um it's got that little sort of fairground ride going around the top of it, haven't it? Like a little roller coaster thing. It's got like crazy front on it as well. It's 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 a big arcade. It's the best arcade in Blackpool, apart from obviously Arcade Club now, and then, uh, you know, that's definitely the best, going to be the best one. <laughs> yeah, it's a nice game, it's just, I like this game, it's fun. So once you once you work out the charging kicks ass. Once you learn out how good the charge actually is, it becomes a lot easier. You can control it. Like here's a bit of a sort of technique to it. Yeah, I, I, I've literally only reason I've gone there is for Play Expo. It's probably about the fifth or sixth time I'm going now. But it wasn't up to like, obviously, probably about eight years ago. It was the first time I ever went. Nothing special, to be honest. It's quite run down. Oops, a stag dude, this was. I wouldn't go there for like on holiday or anything. And I've never been on the beach. <laughs> Maybe I should make a point of actually uh, going out to play Expo for like, 20 minutes and just actually go and walk on the beach. Just so I can say, yeah, I've been on the beach. Every time I go there, though, it's pretty, uh, it's either raining or windy, so I'm bothered. Literally, where we are as well, the beach is literally across the road. Well, there's no excuse really. It would have been quite nice to get that in, but oh well. It's going to be cold when I go there. It's always cold when I go there this time of year. It's cold up north, man. It went too bad last year, mind, to be honest. The one year we went in the middle of October, it was past the freezing. Couldn't believe how cold it was like. You get a nice rhythm through there. For day trips of eight years ago. <laughs> yeah.
Okay, I'm not gonna attempt to do nothing because it's literally straight from Play Expo. Just before he finishes, straight down through the town to get food and then to, um, sorry, and then to uh, Arcade Club. A bit weird this bit is. You can't take your time on it, but yeah, it's normally windy on the front. It's like completely open the front, and then it's really long as well. So I wonder if I jump in, uh, sort of bumping Jeff Minto this time, playing really badly on his games. <laughs> if it does, I'll take a piss out of again. Oh, this is it's getting a bit closer. Yeah, it's on CD. It is. There's two. There's two previous games on cartridge. First one's a bit crappy. Second one's a little bit better. And then the third one is on CD. Kaizo Chojin Shibubu Manfrey. Nice easy name to remember. And they uh, they did a fourth one on the um, SNES. It was on the Centelevu, where you can get a ROM for it. The, the fourth one's really good fun as well. On the fourth one, though, you haven't got swords, you got boxing gloves, and you can do uh, fireball moves and dragon punches and stuff, and it's a platform game. It's quite good. Yeah, the first one plays really... It's got, like, it's really slidey and really floaty. It's, it's not very good, the first one. They are releasing a collection as well. Yeah, I'll say hello to him. <laughs> yeah, the hydraulic games, they normally turn up. They, unless you play them, as soon as you go in there, they're normally dead. As soon as it's about 11 o'clock, they're dead. I'll, I'll see if I can get a, uh, a free subscription to Anstream again this year. Last year, I won one. And it, um, and a hoodie. So if they're there, which they probably will be doing uh, competitions again. I'll see if I can get a best score on it and get a free subscription again. Not if I ever use it, mind. Saying that, I did. I did have a go there on Saturday for the weekly competition. Yeah. Yeah, you wouldn't be able to get this on cartridge. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah, I should play the second game at some point. The second game is better than the first one. I think last 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 year when they had, I think it was was it Power Drift? It might have been Power Drift there, and uh, it it was literally dead for an hour. I hope one guy turns up and does um, a Sobi tech. If you've heard of him, 
Like the first time he turned up, he brought loads of really nice rare consoles and, and computers. And uh, I was playing on them for ages. And then he did it again the year after, and it wasn't quite so good. And then last year, it was all about his t shirts. And he brought a Sharp X68000 with a flight stick and brought one game, Alien Syndrome. I was just like, what are you doing? Uh, 20 megabits was the biggest one. And that was Street Fighter, and I think 18 megabits was the uh, RAM add-on for the arcade card. Yeah, that's it. And uh, never a little bit of information. The 20 megabit cartridges with a little bump on them to make you think like there's more, there's like chips inside it. There's nothing in the bump. In fact, there's a dip. If you actually, if you actually take that bump off, there's nothing underneath it. Um, what else we got on you then? What else is quite fun? Yep. Bum, bum, bum. I do like this game. Really good fun. Um, Earth Armor. Yeah, that's got a bump as well, yeah. I'm not sure how big that cartridge is, though. That may be a 20 megabit cartridge as well. It was a... Um, a copy cartridge as well that I'd... Uh, or a bootleg that had uh, like a bump on it as well, because I used to have it. It had um, Chan and Chan, uh, Alien Crush, what else was on it? Shanghai in some Mahjong game. I've actually had that cartridge twice, I should have kept it. powerful those uh, bombs are. I'm not sure whatever cartridge is uh, at the bump. I think there was only a couple. That may be it, what we've mentioned.
I've got a um, Chase It's Q uh, bootleg made by Kingsoft. The only reason I know is I thought I, I didn't realise it was a bootleg and used some cleaner on the back of it and wiped all the print off it. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, the bootleg I got of um, Chase HQ, it, it, looks, it looks legit. Apart from the, it says uh, King Software on it. And now it doesn't have no printing on the back of the Hugh Guard. Because I wiped it off. Yeah, there, there are a few um, bootleg cartridges around. There's a, there was a website that actually did have them all on there. Um, yeah, I remember there was a website that showed you all the bootlegs. At least the ones they knew about. You wouldn't think bootleg hue cards would have been a thing, would you? So they probably weren't cheap to produce. Yeah, I'm gonna go hit. Yeah, they definitely couldn't have been cheaper to produce. Unless they were, um, they had people in the factory where they were making them and they were they were sort of uh, borrowing them, if you know what I'm saying, and repackaging them. In the Hudson Soft, uh, sorry, the Hudson factory where they were making the Hue cards out the train. Have you ever seen videos of that? I think the building is still there. They had uh, a train going around the top and the uh, the guy who owned the building used to travel around the top of the train. There's a video on YouTube somewhere where a guy actually go into the place, it's all sort of all wrecked now, but you can still see the train tracks at the top. make a mistake again. Yeah, about that. Says so the one boss of this weapon is really crap at. The arcade uh, card could have done really well if it had more memory. Man, yeah, that arcade card is literally just a bit of memory. Nothing else.
No, they did 24. Officially, I think 24 was the, the biggest cartridge. Love that. Because I know Fancy Star... Fancy Star 4 is 24 megabit. And... I think where else was 24. There's a few others as well, I think. Well, it's 24 something around 3 meg, is there something like that? <laughs> meg, something like that. I'm trying to think what else was 24. I'm sure there was one or two others. But I think they were quite rare to have a cartridge that big. I like the biggest SNES ones. I mean like um, 38 megabit or something weird like that. I think it was like Super Street Fighter 2. Uh, Alpha, sorry. Street Fighter Alpha 2. Yeah, 700 odd, I think. Didn't they do an 800 odd meg one at one point? Megabit. You paid for it though on Neo Geo, though, didn't you? That's why those cartridges weren't cheap because they were so big. Yeah, it did. It's, it has got compression on us. That's why you get uh, brakes. You get sort of loading on it because it's decompressing at the same time. Someone, I'm sure somebody hacked that cartridge to um, get rid of the compression or make it faster. level this is now. Yeah, it's mad here, it's got to decompress. That's why you get loading on it. It's, it's an impressive conversion for the SNES. Obviously that game is quite ambitious. Never actually seen the proper cartridge of that either. Ba -ba -ba -ba. 
I don't know anyone who's ever had that either. Like, I think it was quite a late release, wasn't it? We probably all moved on from SNES at that point onto something else. I wanted that then. Didn't need it, but I wanted it. The only problem you get with this weapon, if you get hit a lot and it powers down, it's not very good then. be a little risk and reward if you know what I mean. Yeah, possibly. I know they, they made a pretty big mistake really, didn't they? They they created Nintendo created a monster essentially. Sony were Sony were all in, weren't they? They created probably one of the biggest competitors. Oh, you have the Alpha one, do you? Nice. Yeah, the version of these games is good. Yeah, I've never seen a, a cartridge of this nice one. What level is this one? I made a mistake. Did I need to change my weapon? No, we're good. It's a level after this. You can do the next level with this weapon, but it's a bit easier with the other weapons. There you go, I might keep this one. I love the soundtrack in this game. It's great, fair play. Nice. Going quite early yet. Look at it, Deng, so he's being greedy. Oops. 
We're all back to full power. I can't kill this thing quicker if I get close to it. Go through there without getting hit, which is quite nice. Yeah. That was a mistake when Nintendo do not recognise at all those uh, games they've made on the um, on the Philips. The Zelda games. My mate loves them, they're terrible. Yeah. Yeah, having a mechanical motor inside a little handheld console, and yeah, not the best idea. Right, do I go with this weapon? Um, I'm gonna do it. This weapon is handy on this stage. Not as handy as some of the other weapons. The sheer killing power of this weapon is quite handy. Them things, bastards. Weapon super handy for them things. Could be another one, but you know, so. Okay, you doing alright so far? I think I got one left on my shield. Got him before you fired. Nice. Those fireballs make your life hard work at times. Okay. 
Right, nice to lose any energy by the look of it. Unless I get hit right at the end. Cool. This weapon is handy for this guy. I was 716 megabits, was it? I knew it was somewhere around there. Yeah, PSP is getting more collectible. Plus, yeah, there were some really nice games on the PSP as well. This first section on the Mega CD is loads easier. Those things don't blow up with loads of bullets like they do on the uh, PC Engine one. I'm going to try not to shoot them. We're good. It's even more powerful than the sword. Giant raspberry. Ah, oh, I want that. Didn't need it, but I want it. We're not far from the end. Got it, no shield. I'll be careful on this bit. Okay, Come well so far.
Oh yeah. I, I kept the American version, so I had the two of them. It's just I think Lords of Thunder just sounds a much better name instead of Winds of Thunder. Even though Winds of Thunder, I suppose, makes more sense. Um, that's, that didn't go well there. Hello Bean, how are you? The Super Graphics version is actually better. The Mega Drive version is fantastic as well, but the Super Graphics one has got better graphics. I'd say the Mega Drive one's got better music though. And they're both really accurate, but there's a lot of the glitches in the arcade game they kept in the Super Graphics one as well. Plus, the Super Graphics version is harder. Than the arcade one. But yeah, they're both very good conversions, but I said that the PC Engine one is the better one. Even Aquas, who plays all of them, says it's it's probably the best version. But it is harder than the arcade one. But not taking anything away from the Mega Drive version, which is pretty fantastic as well. Yeah, I think it does have the edge. Yeah, it, it's got a lot of the extra backgrounds and stuff as well, haven't it? And I think it's got some extra frames of animation and stuff as well. Yeah, the music is definitely better. It, it's good on both, but it's definitely better on the, the Mega Drive one. Yeah, but there's some cool glitches that are in the arcade game that are actually in the Super, in the super Graphics one. They left them all in. Hello, how's it going? But yeah, they, they're both very good versions. Like the Mega Drive versions, a classic. It was really nicely made by um, Sega, wasn't it? Oh, you do do? Nice. Both of them are mine, they're not arcade perfect. PC Engine one's not quite arcade perfect either. I still haven't found you a cab yet, been been looking. Still no V-Licks have popped up yet. Yeah, the sound version is good. Yeah, they they dark though, innit? they? Well, the PlayStation one is anyway. The the um, brightness on them are too dark, innit? You can't see the detail in the background. At least the PlayStation versions. I'm, I'm not sure about the Saturn ones. That's the only thing's wrong with them, basically. Yeah, nothing's come up at the moment, but I, I am looking. That's for the turtle. Oh, the turtle level on the um, on the uh, the uh, PC Engine one is is hard. I have to go and get another drink now. <laughs> yeah. 
Watch out. Yeah, dude. I think some of the Thunder Force guys had a hand to do with this and um, Gates of Thunder. That's why they both seem like a Thunder Force game. It wasn't just Red. Some of the people from the Thunder Force team jumped on board, I think. It's a good nickname, the old Groove King. Kamanaramon. The Red Kamanaramon. next great let me go and grab a drink a minute Um, probably is the Saturn version is the closest on those uh, releases they're probably about the same I expect <laughs> yeah it's going to slow down I found myself something to munch on preferably a random mushroom Mm. Mm. Hey, mushrooms are a nice raw.
It says exactly like Tipex smells. That's how I describe it. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, they're gonna remaster they eh? nice. Some of those remasters look really nice. They're doing Robocop as well, aren't they? <laughs> and a um Strider remaster as well. It looks really good. better to be honest the PC PC engine version the one is the one that sounds more like the arcade version than the other two so this one's got the best graphics the PC engine one does sound more like the arcade game a bit controversial that but it's a truth I tell you was the unfortunate thing with the PC Engine when you had to buy um, a six button pad to play it probably. I like games as well. And Rhubarb. Oh, I can never remember where to stand on the PC Engine one. Wait, to it. Crumbles less. Yeah, the mean masses are good. The guy who does color masses is the one we do in Strider now. He's actually reprogramming it. Yeah, Final Fight recoloring is good as well. Oh, I didn't realize you went that far.
two, three. It is very easy to emulate things these days. The only thing I will say though, I emulate stuff as well, but if none of us buy games, we'll never get new games, if you know what I mean. I do buy stuff as well. But yeah, it's very easy to emulate stuff these days. Emulation is so good these days as well, isn't it? There's a, there's a hell of a lot of options out there for emulation. Cheap options, expensive options. And generally, the majority of stuff is good, isn't it? Depending on how new you want to you wanna go. Next one. Nope. Give me twice. This bit is easier on the arcade one. We sometimes find a weird angle on the PC Engine one, and sometimes you can't reach with the uh, the cleaver. It's definitely a bit easier to hit on the arcade one. Definitely a bit more tricky on this version. Oh, come on! You should have disappeared then. <sighs> Died on the church, can't believe it. Stupid. Yeah, it does. What's the cutoff point? I don't know. I, I suppose anything that's not... Anything that's not commercially viable anymore and not being sold is essentially fair game, I would say. But... I suppose the argument is that we're all playing Capcom games on Mister, but they are releasing them and selling them, so essentially, it shouldn't really be in the card. I'm saying that, and I still got them on the Mister mind, but you know. I say anything that's essentially not being sold or anything anymore, it's essentially a fake game.
I suppose some of this retro stuff is actually being sold now these days, so essentially I suppose it's not quite so fair game at that point. Fair bit of jumping he was doing it. Come on, Breen. It's even the arcade archives, isn't it? They, they're selling new, they're releasing these arcade games. Bit of a shit. Oh, I didn't want to go down there. <sighs> That's exactly what I didn't want to do. I've got to fight this guy, he's a pain in the ass. It is quicker this way, but... Yeah, I don't know, like I said, anything I suppose isn't sold anymore. Seems fair, like... Like you know, essentially doing all this stuff is essentially piracy in it, basically. But uh, you know, it it the offshoot of piracy is preservation. So it, it sort of goes hand hand in hand, so if you know what I mean. Miss that one. Yeah, same year, like. A lot of the games I've emulated I ever own or I've bought in the past, you know? Like, I've got this. He's jumping a bit weird. That's... She's, uh, she's definitely not doing her normal attacks. very often do that normal hop. Yeah, the amount of games, I suppose we've all done it, about the games we bought in the past, had, paid for, still got, is a hell of a lot of stuff. That's weird. You don't normally do that jump. Normally that little hop. Like there's no way I own everything I got in the mister. It just never happened, is it? But then, like I said, a lot of it would have disappeared and uh, would never have seen the light of day ever again. And now buying retro games, which these companies are never get they're not getting any money for. The original retro games. Super expensive these days. Even that part of it is starting to get priced out these days. What 
what I see? I've seen um, Cool World on the SNES in uh, today in um, CEX picture of it. Hundred over a hundred quid, right? Cartridge only, and the label was wrecked. I was just like, "Who the hell is buying this crap?" Someone must be buying it. Yeah, this was the PAL version. Maybe the PAL version's rare as well, I don't know. Maybe that's what it is. Yeah, I know what you mean about CX, but it was like a hundred and it's like hundred and twenty five quid. And it wasn't even a tidy example either, no box. Wreck cartridge. No, the, the label was ruined on the cartridge. I suppose it hasn't got to be a good game to be rare and worth money, but... <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's the only way, in it? Proper vanilla, that, isn't it? As it, as it was. Yeah, they, they stuff is not very good, is it? Especially for the money they charge for it. <laughs> yeah, scam lines, nice. Yeah, the Japanese stuff tend to they tend to look after their stuff mainly. No, I know. I'm like pictures as well half of the time, another one you're actually getting. There's a whole Facebook group about uh, people buying and stuff turning up in dreadful condition and missing manuals and all that, but they're paying a lot of money for stuff. And loads of people just send it back. But they obviously don't care. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know. I used to go to boot sales a bit, sort of a few years ago, wherever, when you, you could get retro stuff everywhere. Yep. They should just take pictures of everything and put it up there. And you know where you're getting in, don't you, you know? But somebody's buying this stuff and keeping it, so... A 
not so much CP for us here. It's not bad. <laughs> I should do ours. Pick a load of stuff that I'm not using. Get it together and just see what I could buddy, um, you know, exchange it in for like. Ah, I do the two do. I bought uh, my Raspberry Pi I'm using for the um, MT32 from them, and my mate bought it off them, and it came in the box and everything. It was a perfect, perfect nick. So, I suppose sometimes you're lucky. Um, Yuki Dochi. Could we have a go up? Oh, I know. <laughs> oh, I do. That's alright, and apart from the, um, obviously the 32X version and stuff, this is the best home port of this game. It don't look the best port of this game, but it plays the best. The PC Engine one is pretty, pretty banging. It actually does play better than the other ports. And it's fast as well. And it also got good music. The uh, music on this as well, you can sync it up to the arcade music and it syncs perfect. They are literally the direct tunes obviously, but they're not as good. Like. Yeah, I used to love the Meg Drive version. It is good, the Meg Drive one, but this is this is the better version. It may not look it, but then again, this does have things the Meg Drive one doesn't have, like the landing and everything. It's just this version just plays really good, and it's super fast, and it's got better music. This doesn't look as good. They did change the playability on it. I think they made it more for consoles other than being on a stick. I think that's probably why why this version is really nice. Yeah, if you ever heard a web pike called a website called the Sun Team, he did a mix of uh, overlay and this over the arcade music, and it, it does line up perfect. I don't know whether uh, I don't know whether they had like links at Sega or something. Yeah, both music's really good. I, I say I do like both versions. All right, yeah. Eight frames, nice. <laughs> that was a nice arcade game, that was as well. Yeah, he does some mini stuff. Yeah, he's got some nice old soundtracks you could download off him.
there was a website not long ago did a com did like a comparison of the two and he was like ah oh, the Mega Drive version is much better and there was loads of people in the comments saying that uh, it may look better but it, it's nowhere near as good to play there's loads of people saying that the PC Engine version is better don't look better mine but and again, in some ways it does. The enemy! These bits are not on the Mega Drive one either, are they? My Comsoft did the Meg Drive version, uh, the people who make the Frame Master. Which is quite interesting. They did, they did the Sharp version as well, and I think they did some really nice arcade conversions on the Sharp. Th is that bonus level on the Meg Drive one? I can't remember, I haven't played it for so long. Oh god. There's a missile behind me then. Yeah, the Mega Drive port of Outrun is definitely better. This engine one's alright, but it's uh, it's not as good as the Mega Drive. <laughs> Spinning screws you over, or can screw you over. Yeah, the Outrun ones. The Amiga version, what the hell was going on there with that music? Yeah. Outrun, uh, so the Afterburner's the same, isn't it? The ports of Afterburner are, are dreadful as well. Play the uh, the Amiga one one night. It's, it's quite bad. Oh my God! Non-stop missiles. Try and outrun him. Oh god. <laughs> I know what the hell happened there, like it's like that random intro as well. What the hell was that intro intro about? Oh my god, it's a lot of planes. Ooh, missiles. I 
from the Master System version of this, you can stay uh, down left, I think it is, for pretty much the majority of the game. You can't get it. Oh my god. Ah. Go on, let's look into it. Go this far. I do love the arcade of this, mind. The sit down version is wicked. Oh yeah, I remember that. I did, didn't it? It, had, it came over um, a tape, didn't it, with the arcade soundtrack. That's that's quite cool, is. I wonder why they never did that in uh, other games. It's quite clever. Ah, oh, caught me. Shit. Those missiles are going fast now. I had a song there on the B-side. Nice. Oh god, I missed that after me. Oh my god. I haven't got much chance to lock onto anything at the moment. Oh, that's cool. I oh, said so they've already ever game to do it then. That's that's cool. I'd be straight away. Calm down. Yeah, I played the I played the Meg Drive version of this a lot as well. Great. See, spinning's bad. Ah, well. I can't remember how many levels are actually on the PC Engine one. Fun game. Same pet. I've played that on stream, haven't I? 
I don't, I played the Amiga version, I think. <laughs> yeah, first person shooter on the Spectrum, awesome. Um, okay, let's have a go with this in. See if I can do it in one go. I haven't quite managed to have one CC of this yet. Close. No cigar. Do 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 I wouldn't mind finishing it. I have credit fed it, but never actually finished it. Strawberry laces are nice. And cola laces, remember them? Oh yeah, cola laces. time. A bit too close to be Andy. Yeah, I think I hit gold destroyed, didn't he? By accident, I think. Stride it is a messy game, but it's just it's just cool. I don't know whether Osman's re I don't know. It is i do like it. I 
Where do I get that little fella then? Speed up, nice. Good and bad thing that is speed up. Quite quick, eh? Oh, take Adam Vinyl or Strider soundtrack. Which one would you go for? Gotta be take Adam. Take that every time. Uh, Mutron or knob, the knob guy. I can't remember which weapon was best on these though. I didn't turn it on. It was already on. I obviously didn't turn it off. I didn't touch the light. No, I didn't. Be a bit tricky sometimes, I think. Can <laughs> yeah, I knew one person who had one. It's quite enjoy playing on it.
okay, I just go past him, bugger it. I said, oh, my Tari, tape tapes. I hate this thing. Lucky. Been very lucky with them so far. It was the wrong way. Oh, it's easier this way. Them things take loads of energy off if you were to stay at you. I could fly over the top of it actually. So I'm not sure which is the best weapon for this, this thing. Right, I'm here in the right place. Damn. How much energy it takes off you if you hit two? Yeah, I did have one once as well, but it was in the 90s, I'm sure it was. It was way after the uh, they were gone, basically. I 
Actually, I don't need to go up there. Almost dead. remember what run I used to play out. Yeah, he had the tape deck built in. Uh, the one I had had the tape deck built in as well. This weapon is great for these bits. down a bit too far then. move forward. A bit solid if you haven't got this weapon. This way is easier. Never shooting level. Very lucky on them. Watch they do go forward. I could just sit past them, but 
more likely get hit if you do it. You're off you, buddy. Always cheers for popping in, as always. Take care, have a good week. I won't be on next week, by the way. I'm going to play Expo. Just let you know in advance. I'll post it in the um, Discord anyway, just so everyone else know. enemies at the end of this. Well, this one, okay. Go on, at least hit him. And I do 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 right twenty. What boss is this one? Okay, this one could be a bright pain in the ass. Can't go up too far in this boss, otherwise it resets all the pods. If you shoot that little gun tethered off the top of him, pain in the ass. Right. Yeah, that little nub on the front of him. Super handy as weapon. Not the most powerful thing in the world, mind, but super handy. Levels get long though, so. I might get it once or twice. Oh, I used to do AFIX models as a kid as well. Secret exits in it.
be exit to run B or something, that's it. Better off just getting past this. Bin them all in the end, do I can't remember, I probably did the same in mine, I can't remember I did run. Remember those uh, little planes, you, little flat pack planes you used to get? Used to come in like a long two pack and you put the wings on them and use them as gliders. Used to be able to get um, all sorts of like warplanes and things like that. Pretty nice amount of revenge back off him as well. I can't remember what those things were called. They were like sort of a fix things, weren't they? But uh, I want to go this way. Yeah, the metal figures do. Nice. Oh, actually, I gotta go down. This one I want to do to get my energy. I'll take my time for you. So that we can get a little bit tricky. There's a couple of different routes for this level, but I found this is the best way of doing it. I'm gonna go right on this one. Maybe I don't. Maybe it is left. Oh, that was stupid. to get hit by uh, his firing to get over him. Crazy how much NG he takes off. Yeah, all you got to do is get hit by his firing and basically and then just fly over him like this. I'm too slow to fly over him. Ah, oh, bollocks! Ah, oh, this is not good. I can't do it now, basically. Can't do the boss. I don't think I'm going to be able to do him. I 
I don't think I'm going to have enough firepower to kill him. Ah! Oh, I definitely can't do him now. No, I'm not going to have enough firepower to kill him. Doing well, one I up to this bit. Okay, so I'm just gonna have to tank it. Nope, screwed. You need the bomb for it, basically. Otherwise. You just haven't got enough firepower to kill him before he kills you. And you've got no chance of dodging all that stuff. Not good. I had um, Blake 7 spaceship kit once. I remember having that and building that, gluing it all together. They were the days when, it, when you could uh, you could give glue, you give super glue to a 8 year old or 10 year old. Go on, carry on, but. This is where we all learn to glue your fingers together. It's not good. So don't do it. Yeah, it was just... It lost that weapon. As soon as I lost that weapon, I was screwed. Because I can't do the la I, I literally can't do the last boss. And if he hits you, as you can see, he takes like almost all your energy off in one go. And the only way to do it is to scroll him down. So you just don't have a... If I scroll him down again, and then scroll back up. I don't think I can do him with this weapon. I'll try it. Eh? <sighs> Great. You've got to kill it, not so far up against the wall. Yeah, I should do. Ah, well. Right, anyway. That is definitely me for tonight. Well, it's been fun, guys. Cheers for hanging around. Cheers, man. I, ah, I've done so well on that game as well. Got nice and far now. Ah, just one mistake, and uh, I was screwed. If I'd had that exploding weapon, I would have killed him. Ah, well. Yeah, maybe I should give it a try. Right, like I said, I'm not going to be on next weekend because uh, I'm going to play Expo. I, I go in on early Saturday morning, like super early, quarter past four. Yeah, no worries, buddy. And yourself? Yeah, so I'm going like, to go about quarter past four in the morning. By the time I pick everyone up, get there by ten. And then uh, I won't be back from Arcade Club until probably, I don't know, maybe about one o'clock on Monday morning. So it'll be a long weekend. I will. Cheers. And yourselves. No worries, buddy. Happy to stream, as always. So, but I, I'm off the week after, though, so uh, I'll probably do some sneaky streams in the week. Means I'm off and I missed the weekend. Catch up on you, like, any. 
Right, so night all. Cheers for that. And uh, have a good weekend, Steph, and I'll catch you probably... Cheers, mate. Thanks so much. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll probably catch you next week now in the week while I'm off. So uh, we'll do some streams. May as well. Yeah, I could do. I haven't done a video walk around of RK Club for a while. I could do. I could do the. I could do a play expo one as well. Actually, that might. I haven't done one of them for a while. I think I'll take my uh, my little holder for the phone. I'm do one if you want. Might be quite interesting to see what's happening around it. So, all right. Anyway, guys, cheers for that, and I shall catch you. I shall catch you next week. Take it. Nighty night. Ah, uh, I want to do cosplay though. Cosplay would be nice. <laughs>